Lumion 12 makes the process of communicating atmosphere simpler and more enjoyable. The new volumetric lights effect is just the tool to do just that. Let me walk you through it. For this project, let's open Lumion 12 and load the museum example scene. Choose the lights category and you'll notice that there are quite a few lighting options. Cities are inherently vibrant, and especially during autumn and winter, you can often see these fully bodied streetlights after it gets dark. We want to recreate that sensation by manipulating the light coming from the streetlights and adding another layer of complexity to the atmosphere of this project. We have a couple of spotlights already added, but let's delete them so we can start from scratch. In the lights category, we're looking for a vibrant looking spotlight. So let's go ahead and select spotlight number 11. I think this one will fit quite well. Place it by clicking on the glass surface of the streetlight. We can select the light and adjust its properties. But for now, let's just keep it as is. In photo mode, we can change the first photo's lighting from day to night with only a couple of clicks. Let's switch off the sun effect and change the real skies to a night setting. In the Add Effect window, under Lighting, you'll find the thumbnail for the Volumetric Spotlights effect. Click to add it to the effect stack. The next thing to do is click the Select Lights button to choose which objects we want to add this volumetric effect to. You'll notice that the insertion points of the various spotlights throughout the project are now visible. Once you click on one of them, the red icon will switch to a green check mark, and vice versa and the volumetric cone of the selected spotlight will appear. Click on Save Changes. Click on the preview. It looks pretty good already. The density slider lets you control how dense you want the light cone to be, while the intensity slider controls the brightness. These can increase the strength of the volumetric lighting quite a bit, so subtle adjustments are recommended. Lastly, the falloff slider helps you adjust how far the light reaches from the source. Now, Let's make a render. Looks pretty good. This is how it would have looked without the volumetric spotlight effect. So it's quite an improvement, but we're not quite there yet. There's a little too much bloom and some of the illuminated areas of the building are way too bright. You can tone this down with the lens flare effect. Play around with the streak intensity slider. There, much better. The spotlight is slightly beneath the glass surface of the lamppost. Let's shift this a bit and add a shadow exclusion zone so the horizontal surface in the object does not block any light. Use the shift key for precise movements. Now the light really looks like it is coming from the right place in our street light. Let's switch off the depth of field effect since we don't really need it and set the precipitation effect to 100% snow. By going to build with effects, you can fine tune some other light properties and immediately get an exciting first impression of the result, such as by changing the color, brightness, or cone angle. It's likely that you may need to modify the effect's light density or intensity after making other changes to its properties. Now, let's have a look at another situation where the volumetric light effect adds a lot of value to the quality and atmosphere of the image. Let's load up another example scene. Villa and Casale by Marco Caccini. Go to photo mode and select a photo position that focuses on the swimming pool. Photo six should work. We all know how great a swimming pool looks with the glowing lights inside. The ones in this project could use that gorgeous volumetric effect. Let's zoom in a bit, but first we're going to want to get rid of those bright reflections of the surrounding trees and the sunset sky. We can do this by switching off the spotlight that lights up the tree and rotating the position of the sky a bit. That looks better. Now, add the volumetric spotlights effect and select the lights in the pool. They don't show up all that well yet, but let's make a first render with the default settings. Because the water of the pool scatters the light, let's increase the density to the max. And then make another render you can see how the misty tones of the pool boost the atmospheric quality of the space. Here's the difference between the two renders, one with and one without the volumetric spotlights effect. In addition to the outdoor use of street and pool lights, 
you can also use this effect inside a house to light up its surroundings in a beautiful way. Here's an example. Here we placed a spotlight behind the roof window with a warm color and increased brightness. This technique works for more complex objects as well. Here's an example. Check out that stunning display of light and shadow across the floor. And finally, here's an example of a stage where volumetric lighting is commonly used to add a fourth dimension to the theatrical experience. Lighting continues to be a fundamental part of an atmospheric, high-quality rendering. And with the new volumetric spotlights effect in Lumion 12, it's easy and enjoyable to give your images this added touch. In just a few clicks, your designs will come alive and your clients will know exactly what you're trying to create. Give it a shot yourself. I'll see you next time.